the state of the house right now, honestly. This week has been mental and you're just about to see why. We have done, I have made a list of the stuff that we have done this week because it's been like, the baby's not even here and we're just already going insane. It's 10 o'clock at night, I just came home from a gig and during this whole week we've had Rue's birthday, the 20 week official scan, which apparently is the big scan, but my hospital didn't make it feel very big. I drove to Norfolk because I was meant to be in a gig in Essex and unfortunately that got cancelled due to the party person having COVID. There is currently a pandemic of no petrol in the UK at the moment. Welcome! Yeah. I put my baby on board badge because they wouldn't allow me on the toilet <laughs> when I got to the petrol station, which was mad. And they've capped everything at £35. But anyway, check it out. I think we smashed the gig. It was quite funny because I turned up to the gig and I knew the guy from when we worked at Abercrombie back in the day and he was like, Jamie Lisa, how are you? I was like, God, he's using my actual name. No one knows my actual name. <laughs> but I think we absolutely killed it. And then afterwards, I got to have my first nursery experience. I went to my old place, Brent Cross, where I grew up. And I know that place like the back of my hand, so. It was just before I started the gig and I, I checked out these amazing little bits like the prams that they have, the nursery bags, and I was currently kind of looking for a hospital bag. <laughs> so that was kind of weirdly non-successful slash successful, but we did get, however, really cute autumnal stuff. They've just released this new scent and it's called Fireside. So we'll check that out. I've got a diffuser as well. Plus I bought myself Cowshed Stretch Mark Oil. I'm currently using the Nils Yard one, the Mother's Oil. It's lovely, I just don't like the smell of it and I'm coming to the end, so this is the next shot. We'll try the Cowshed. I went into Space and K. They have loads of oils, but they weren't pregnancy friendly, so we didn't do that. Plus I got a Space and K, Laura Mercier, the best primer in the world. This is Illuminating Primer. I get eczema really badly on my skin, so if just say I bought a NARS primer, my skin would flare up. Laura Mercier is the only one that doesn't make my skin so sensitive. But later in the week I found an amazing hospital bag. Here, this hospital bag is amazing. It's from Longchamp. It's like this. I'll show it to you. I didn't buy this from Dodo Nose, by the way. I bought this from Harrods. The stuff that you need in your hospital bag is a lot of stuff. And this could have like Barney stain stuff, my stain stuff, and the baby's gear, like, you know, a one piece suit. You want them to look cute because it's gonna be their first photos. And I remember my friend turning around being like, Jimmy, you're 20 weeks, why do you need a hospital bag yet? And I was like, because you can never be too prepared. So that is gonna be packed at 32 weeks. We did that, and then we had the 20 week scan at the beginning of the week. So, we are at the 20 week mark. I forgot my GoPro today, so we're currently using the phones. We'll try and get as much footage as we can, but how do you feel? Mate, we're, this is our, you told me about five minutes ago, this is our second last appointment. You get a 36 week, oh no, you get a, a 27 week appointment. 30 something, and when you're, you're like approaching the waters gushing. Oh my God. Um, so I think today we need to get the Map B1 so I can go on maternity leave certificate. And I'm gonna to talk to them about my plan and we need to talk about the birthing pool so we can actually like go and see the space. The birthing center, um, yeah. Surely you can't book something when you don't know when you're coming. There's a due date, but they'll be like, oh, we'll give you all these dates every day yeah, at we'll 3 p.m. You, yeah, yeah, they obviously can't do that. So I don't think they even book you in. I think you just say what you want. And if it's available on the day that it happened or the moment that it happens, then you get it. Yeah. 
first come first serve kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. I had a little freak out two days ago and I couldn't feel kicks and then I was just doing a lesson just now and I felt loads of little kicks. <laughs> yeah. just fist bumping inside you. <laughs> you can go on maternity leave and you can get £10.50 a week from the government. What? Apparently that's the big one and I didn't feel nervous about it and everything <sighs> touch wood seemed okay but it's really hard to see if it looks good because you don't know what you're really looking at. These were the scans that we had but we, we got some footage so check it out. So most recently we turned into autumn I think when it turns to October I became really like oh my gosh it's so close now we've only got November, December, Jan, Feb and these months go fast because you've got Halloween, you've got Thanksgiving, you've got Christmas, you've got Valentine's so it seems like this time of year goes a lot faster than if you were having like a summer baby. So I just wanted to make it a little bit nicer like us Canadians we really want to go all out for Halloween. And you are always there waiting for me, aren't you? I went and I bought this fragrance from White Company. <sighs> that did not go well. I ended up having to like get rid of the fragrance and washed it out with fairy liquid about seven times to get rid of the scent. But they say it's inversions when you're pregnant. So everything changes, like certain foods change, certain smells change. Well, I was like, this is disgusting, this fragrance. And Barney, when he turned around, and he is a fragrance con connoisseur. Oh. Connoisseur, he's a fragrance connoisseur. Anyway, yeah, I picked up this pumpkin, which is really cute. I need to change these to some autumn smelling bits. Fireside again, that's probably gonna end up being a gift, because I really don't like the fragrance. Look how autumn these are. When autumn comes, what is the best thing to do? Turn your cookie jar into a Oreo tower. Everyone thinks I'm mad. Voila! Result. Tip. Put it like near your entrance, like if you have like a bar or something. When people come in, it's like a really nice display and they can grab a cookie when they come. I have to make sure that I financially choose the right things because having a baby is not cheap, to say the least. So guys, FYI, don't get the Fireside from White Company. It's a pop-out. It's one of those limited edition ones. There's nothing limited about it. It does not smell good at all. The most exciting part of this week was preparing for Rue Arcavapu. He is one. Listen to our beautiful child. Spoiled brat syndrome right now because I've locked him out because we're doing his gifts. And this is what we've got him. That squeaks like this. It's so cute. And I'm putting loads of treats in it. This is turkey and hemp. And a beautiful new bed. And oh man, it was awesome. It was just so much fun. We actually wrapped all his gifts and I put loads of treats in them, which was really, really cute. <sighs> Plus he had his first temper tantrum because he saw one of the gifts and lost it. But honey, li listen, okay, listen. You're just gonna have to wait until tomorrow morning. <laughs> hey. Okay, I think someone doesn't even deserve their gift because of the way you're behaving. This is it. Rue's little gifts. So tomorrow he's gonna have the best birthday party ever. We couldn't stop him from like wanting, like he was banging on the door and we kept moving the item because we were like, he can obviously smell this bed. He's absolutely shitting it for tomorrow. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> he's so aggro. What's wrong with you today? You're like a grumpy teenager. <laughs> Big birthday boy bed. Look at this. Get in. You sit. Oh, we should have got him a large. It's quite small, isn't it? <laughs> no, really. A bed. Get in it. I'm just trying to shag it. Cute <sighs> girlfriend. 
And then we actually had the, threw a birthday party for him the following day and I had this beautiful cake made from Etsy. If you need to get anything limited edition, go to Etsy. It's so good to have a birthday in Birdogs. And they put his little name on it, Rue. They also had his first birthday on it and it was made of buns. But he didn't finish it, did he? It actually smelt edible. Like, I think I could have eaten that. I probably would have had more of it than he did. Uh, but the gifts, I've never seen a dog like open gifts before and he really did enjoy it. He loves his gifts and every day since he's been sleeping in his bed and we thought, oh, he's just gonna hug it the whole time. But like, no, he's great. Ooh, this is Rue's birthday. We're having fun, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. He literally sleeps in it every single day. So we are a happy family. Even though he had his first temper tantrum and he's having one right now downstairs because he wants to go outside and he's been outside 50 times. I think he's just preparing me for childbirth as well. When the baby comes and we're having sleepless nights. Oh my God, so I said to Bart, just feel my belly button right now. It's gone all red. How gross. Hello. Did you have a blast? When? This week. Yes, Bruce I birthday. did. So I'm, just, uh, I'm lying here in my pants, feeling, <laughs> feeling very regal. Every right video now. we're going to do, guys, Barney's going to be in his underwear. Why not? On my chaise lounge <laughs> over here. <laughs> on his, in his bed. By the way, our place looks like a state because I've run out of hangers, so my clothes are just living on the floor Hurricane right now. Hurricane Jamie has hit it's actually October. not that it's bad. Hurricane season. Hurricane Jamie has hit the bedroom. Anyway, peace out. Until next week.